And we're back with some more oxygen not included on Oasis, where we're hunting all the achievements as fast as we can. Now, um, at the time for the time being, we've got our oxygen coming in just fine. But what I want to set up today is metal refinement and plastic. We need metal refinement so we can start doing rockets and well, exploring space so that we can get the space achievements. And we also need some plastic so we can set up steam turbines and a few other bits and bobs. I'm also excavating out all of this so I can get my hands on more lead, uh, diamond, that kind of stuff. It's it's all useful. But for now, what I've done is this is my overflow area where my, uh, my hydrogen overflows. I'm also going to use this as a power generation for our refinement. So we're just going to get a yeah, your, your average metal refinery here. And we're going to hook up a liquid pump to it in this pile of polluted water. We're going to melt this, a lot of this. Okay, there you go. Building intake. Building output. Done. That simple. Uh, this is really only possible on a map where there is just this much cold lying about the place. This should warm this area up. When it came to the Drekos up here, I did not have enough heat to keep these crops growing. They've only just started growing recently because I threw in all these space heaters. So you'll notice that my, uh, my Drekos are going to starve to death in 8.4 cycles unless I get them some food. So, yeah, space heaters order of the day. Anyway, uh, refinement coming right up. System primed and ready to go and full of polluted water and we're going straight for steel. Well, first we've got to get our hands on some iron. Now I don't need... You know what? We're just going to queue up 50 of it to start. Uh, the steel we're going to need sooner rather than later. I should probably start planning space. I need to get my hands on a space telescope so I can start researching the planets. Until I start researching the planets, there's nothing I can do. Oh, uh, which reminds me, have I finished all the research? Uh, that should all be done. Yep, research is all done. Perfect. We'll just, uh, oh, can I, can I not just stop the research? No, never mind. That's going to be there permanently, isn't it? Never mind. Uh, up here, I've been building temperature shift plates made out of ice behind this cool steam vent, and it's, uh, it's cooling down the steam. At the same time, I'm ending up with way too much water now. I'm going to have to find a use for that. But uh, not just yet, not just yet. Uh, for the time being, I'm going to put in a liquid lock up here and we're going to start tackling uh, regolith. Ooh, and I'm going to need Atmosuit docks. For the Atmosuit docks, I am going to need reed fiber. And for reed fiber, we have got ourselves some Drekos down here. So those three Drekos are sheared, but that's not going to be nearly enough Atmosuits. We need a lot more. That's why we're going to breed them and have as many Drekos as we possibly can, as quickly as we can. And now we get to a strange one. We're getting to the point in the game where... We're moving so far away from the base that starvation warnings are kicking in. My dupes are not getting back in time to grab food. We have plenty of food. It's just by the time they get back to the and use the bathrooms, they go straight to bed, skipping dinner. So where is uh, Dr. Strange here? As you can see, Dr. Strange here, they're still on their way back to base. Where are they again down here? Yeah, Dr. Strange. So they're still on their way back to base. They're going to go back to the bathrooms. And then by the time they finish the bathrooms, they're just going to go straight to bed. They're not going to get dinner. Now, there is some mechanics that will kick in when they go into starvation mode and send them back to get food, but we don't want to be depending upon those. So we're going to start increasing everyone's downtime by a slot. Uh, oh, and you can also go up by a slot. Yes, it's four, four, four. Oh, and I thought I got rid of that bad time before. Oops. Yeah, that was pointed out to me in the comments. I thought I, I, I must have only got one of them. There must have been two. Never mind. Problem fixed. Oh, and I've started leaving the default schedule blank because, you know, that's a much handier way of doing things. I, I, I've, I forgot to do that. I should have been doing that from the very beginning. It's the fastest way to get started. Also, we've picked up a new recruit along the way. Uh, Skills-wise, let's have a look here. We've got Bahani. Bahai? 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 I, yeah, not a clue. They're good at research. Uh, they've got uh, improved strength and they started with plus three science and plus three strength. Half of them come up with a superhero name for them. If you get a suggestion, stick it in the comments. I'll I'll, uh, I'll change their name in the next episode. But for now, improved carrying is going to be the order of the day. Uh, Jessica can get some more digging. Uh, there's still no stopping to the digging. Here we're just uh, getting everyone up to exosuit training because we want to get everyone into exosuits. Once we hit 20 dupes, I think we'll have a cutoff there. 20 dupes will be the max we'll go for. Uh, namely because we want to get everyone into exosuits and get the... Everyone did a job in exosuit achievement, and going more than 20 will be start to become more and more problematic. Oh, and yeah, that slickster is pooping all over the place. What age are you? You're groomed, your wildness is at 44. What's your temperature? 53. Yes, you're going to survive just long enough to become tamed. Excellent. That was exactly what we were hoping for. Ah, uh, blueprint. 
We've got another dupe going along and I don't want the Mouth Breather and I don't want the Anemic. Both of those are just bad traits in general. So we're going to go with Nicola. They've, uh, they've got suit wearing, ranching and supplying. They're an early bird, but also a pacifist. Anyone got a superhero villain name for them? Stick them in the comments, I'll add them in. Uh, for now though, I need to get these Drekos multiplying as fast as possible. So I think I'm going to power incubators for them. That may sound insane, but uh, I need reed fiber and I need it quickly. My other alternative is to use the heat from this metal refinery to heat up an area so that I can grow reed fiber. So the amount of water required is going to be epic. Though I did manage to save up about five tons of polluted water from earlier. Which reminds me, whoa. Oh, that here. Yes, here he is. Not quite five tons of polluted water. Over here I've stockpiled some clean water from the desalinator. This desalinator over here, I, I wanted to even out the flow, so I've been running it into this tank. It seems desalinators have to be emptied of salt every so often, so you a dupa, dupa can actually come along and service them. Considering how much I've been stressing out my dupes, yeah, that, that, that wasn't great. Wow, okay, I need to do something about this sheer quantity of water in here, it's accumulating too quickly. I might even want to make just another electrolyzer just to get rid of the... what the... Ice, yeah. Ice had ended up in there. I now need to get that water out of the bottom of that. There's six kilos of water per tile. I think I can just break in here at the bottom, though. I might want to turn this off before I go in. I've set all the sensors to if only if, to activate only if the pressure is above 20,000. That should mean they'll stabilize out and the hydrogen shouldn't change. We'll break open the doors, go in and get ourselves a bit of a clean on. It should be fairly fast to get sorted. Once that's done, we'll seal it all back up again and we should be good to get started. All right, sealed back up again. Time to set these back to their normal standards. Above 250, above 450. And make sure nothing's changed yet. Perfect, we'll get plenty of gas out of that. And the hydrogen can start flowing up though. I think my refinement has eaten through a lot of the hydrogen. We'll, you know, we'll give one more out of you. And then we're going to queue up iron to steel forever until all the iron is gone and we have lots of steel to play around with. Uh, using that, I would love to go into space, but I just, I don't have any, um, I don't have any exosuits. I need to think about this for a minute. So, while worrying about my lack of reed fiber and how am I going to get enough to do my exos atmosuits together quickly enough, uh, I was looking around and I noticed these. There's, there's literally reed fiber growing here. It seems it's warm enough because it's right beside a steam vent. Uh, there is, and this one's harvest ready. That one's harvest ready. That one's growing. Okay, that's halted because of body temperature or whatever. But, yeah, so I've got uh, about nine reed fiber in there and another six that I've already harvested from my Dracos. So maybe this might be a place to grow some more reed fiber. I could stick down some hydroponics maybe or something, maybe grow them in between. Yeah, might be a plan. Yeah, I'm thinking that's what we're going to do, though. Getting in there without spilling water everywhere might be problematic. Oh, not that difficult. I'll just make a big water tank here just to pour it all out. I want to get in here as quickly as I can and start getting access to that reed fiber. It can't hurt. Uh, also, i got to block that off. There's a That's exposed to vacuum back there. So I need to get some drywall backing in there just to stop that from happening. Which means I also need to get those ladders up there so that my dupes can access it. But that should be fine. And once I'm in there, I can... Uh, I might throw in a few ice temperature shift plates just to get that one growing again. Actually, you know what? It's growing again already. What do we need to keep that at? 37 degrees? I think a quick ice temperature shift plate should take care of any overheating issues. Yeah, let's stick that right about there. Problem solved. Yeah, that looks like I could get enough reed fiber out of there. Uh, that doesn't mean I don't really care too much about the Drekos anymore, but hey, what can you do? Uh, next up, we've got... We still have excess calories coming in. You know what? I think we're going to take on another dupe. In fact, we're going up to 20, yeah. You know what? We're going to go with Ada here. They've got ranching plus three. I, I already have three ranchers, but I, I can do with a fourth. Uh, plus they're unconstructive and triophobia, so they can't dig, they can't build. Um, they're an interior decorator, which... Yeah, it's great because they can't. I don't think they can do anything with that. Uh, never mind. But they've got animal husbandry and medicine. So give me a superhero name for someone with all of those combined traits. Yeah, yeah, that that should be a fun one to try. Uh, I probably should be getting a, a more productive tube, shouldn't I? Yeah, uh, never mind. Um, anyway, what I do want to do is I want to use this. Here, I'm going to need some polluted water. And the closest polluted water I've got is... Hmm, what's that pipe from? I have no memory. Oh my, that's the pipe I did for the carbon dioxide deconstruction. That was, that's a while back. Ooh, that is a 
That's where I had the carbon skimmer set up. Yeah, that didn't turn out any of that very much. I really didn't should have done some prep work for this map. I really wish I had the choice. That would have been nice. Uh, I probably would have been better at not doing such silly mistakes. Anyway, um, I'm going to have to get the polluted water that's out of here. That's down here, out of here. Despite all of the crazy piping that's going on. Um, hmm. Yeah, I need to get prep polluted water out of there. You know what? There? Hmm. One second. I got this. I'll just run it out of here and loop it across. There we go. And I think there's only one tank so far. Yeah, we're probably not going to get a chance to get a second anyway. So that will pump all the water up here. And uh, that'll be gone. No, we'll send it all the way up to our, uh, our thimble reeds. Yes, we are burning an awful lot of energy and time to get ourselves enough thimble reeds up to get exosuits. Reason being, we need them to get space, but not just that. We have to get all of our dupes into exosuits so that we can get one of the achievements. One of the achievements requires that... You know what? Let's show you. Here it is. Job suitability. For 10 cycles in a row, have every duplicate in the colony can complete at least one chore while wearing an exosuit. Yeah, that's going to suck. Uh, easy living. Have the auto sweepers complete more deliveries to machines than duplicates over five cycles. They've outperformed the duplicates over one cycle. They're just going to do another four more. Uh, the reason for that is I've made a few little minor changes to the feeding here. I set these down to level three. And I've set the storage containers over here to level four. So they should be more likely to, the dupes should be more likely to stock up the storage bins. But then the auto supers will stock up the critter feeders because that's the only thing they can reach. And end up with hungry critters though if I don't get enough uh, duplicates out to feed everyone. Which reminds me, priority system. Uh, where is our new dupe? Yep, yeah, well, you know, Nicola, we're going to downgrade you. We need a lot of deliveries going on. Which reminds me, we need a lot of people with improved carrying. Oh, that also reminds me, our Slickster did not make it. The temperature was not quite warm enough for them to survive. They kept pooping out oil, which kept increasing their thermal conductivity. On the bright side, though, as far as Critter Whisperer is concerned, we have tamed the Slickster. We've also tamed a Paku, a Puffed, but all we've got left is Pokeshell, Gassimu, and Shovel. Shovel, not a problem. Pokeshell, not a problem. Gassimu, okay, that will be annoying. But... That means we definitely can hit this by cycle 365. We've got everything we need uh, around. You know what? Let's go tame that poke shell now, why don't we? We'll just open that door. They'll eventually wander in there and get tamed. It'll be all good. Uh, anyway, I've got to finish off putting in this piping and start getting more reed fiber in. I've also got an exosuit li dock lined up in here, and I'm smashing up a whole bunch of copper. Uh, the reason I'm smashing up the copper this way is it's just easier. <laughs> I don't have the leftover hydrogen. I mean, I'm I'm burning through my old hydrogen reserves here just to make all the steel I just did. I don't want to have to do that for an enormous amount of copper as well. I have just noticed someone's gotten food poisoning. That's not good. Uh, something's messed up somewhere, but this does give us a chance to knock out one of the achievements. Uh, that one being curing a sickness. So I think we're going to set up an apoth apothecary and then we're going to uh, cure ourselves some food poisoning. I have un unfortunately hit upon one snag. The only person who can operate it is someone who's trained in a medicinal skill, and the only person who's got a, a liking for it is Doctor Strange. I could put Hawkeye into it for a bit, but then... Well, actually, no, they don't even have medicine. I could put Bane into it, but... I don't know. Bane is a doctor? I suppose he does know a lot about, you know, chemicals and stuff. You know what? Yeah, let's, let's go with that. Bane is turning out to be quite useful in this game. All right, Bane, time for you to do up some curative tablets. You're going to need 10 of those suckers so that we can cure people of their food poisoning. Oh, I'm also putting in a few extra incubators just so I can incubate these uh, smooth hatchling eggs. I want a lot of the... I want to get these up and running as quickly as possible so I can start refining metal. And at the same time I've been doing that, I'm using these to refine the... I'm going to use these to refine iron. I've switched all of these over to iron. And we're going to try and get uh, all the hatches to do our iron refinement for us. It'll save us a little bit of electricity, so that way this can do all the steel. I've turned the steel off while I chew up Atmo suits. And I'm going to need a lot of Atmo suits. Oh, and before I do that, there's one thing I really need to do. Furniture. Give me a blank canvas. Let's put down a black can canvas somewhere really quickly. You know what? Let's put it down in this uh, second hall I made. Oh, yes. I made a second grand hall so that my dupes have somewhere to go. Oh, and another thing to notice... When you're making a hall, you'll notice this one here is a great hall. This one here is just a mess hall. When you have a great hall, you ha you can't use a stifled plant in it to get the the extra morale bonus. To get a great hall, you need where is it? 
Yeah, Great Old up here, it needs a plus 20 decor item. And plants didn't count for a while, and then they brought them back, so now plants do count again. But it has to be a, a, a plant that's not stifled. This stifled plant here won't count if I remove that joyous seed over there. Things would go badly wrong. And on this map, the only plants that can survive, the lowest temperature plant that can survive, well, except for the sporkid, which we're not we're not touching sporkids. Uh, well, I think it's briar seed is, my, is 10, and that's it. After that, you're looking at the joyous seed, which can survive down to zero. So we, you kind of need joyous seeds to get uh, your colonies up and running. And wow, it's it's actually cold enough in here that might one not that might one might not survive. However, we're going to stick in a painting. Uh, is that going to be the right location? That's better. Big portrait canvas there to get us started. That portrait ca canvas, I just I decided to go with that because why not? And I want to make sure the reed fiber goes into that. I'll demolish demolish it after it's finished. But that's one of the achievements is to get a masterwork painting up and running. So, yeah, why not get that up and running while we've got the chance? Uh, also, yeah, I think that's all of that done. And I believe we've got our plumbing running. Yep, that water is going all the way up in here and it's feeding the reed fibre. They should grow nice and quickly. That one, body temperature halted. Yeah, I think we need a few more temperature ship plates up here. Uh, yeah, let's go with ice. Yep. A couple of those should be fine. And maybe stick in a brick to stop some of that escaping. Uh, yeah. That should hopefully balance it out. This is the messiest builds I've ever been doing. Ugh. Achievement earned. What's this achievement this time? Turn of the century. Reach this the cycle 100 with at least one living duplicate. Wow, what a weak sauce achievement. Ugh. Survive to cycle 100. Well, I suppose we've been rushing. Now, we can learn new skills. Right. We've got everyone done up. The only thing missing is curative tablets. We need to increase the priority on that. And yeah, skip forward a bit until we get some more stuff done. Never mind, we've got another printing pod. Uh, printing pod, what are you going to give to us today? We've got... I'm thinking Camille here. The plus three construction cuisine is fine, but the Twinkle Toes gives them a plus three uh, athletics to start, which means they'll at least be mildly useful. All the dudes we've currently been getting are going to be rather slow. So, you've got Camille with cooking, building, twinkle toes, iron gut, and squeamish. Give me a superhero name for that one in the comments. Uh, three more dupes to go and we'll have our full 20 and we'll be stopping there. Uh, Exosuit-wise, we've made two. Oh, that is so pathetically bad. Uh, I need to make all the exosuit docks near the bedrooms and I need all my dupes to get into them before they leave. Though for the time being, I might want to make one up here just so that I can get started on space. Minor change in plan. I realized I had been messing up. These uh, critter feeders down here are starting to go empty because I have not set the priority on the, the storage bins high enough. Effectively, I've been running all my team ragged and haven't been letting them do what needs doing. So what I'm going to do is take a break for a bit. I'm going to let all my duplicates catch up on all the delivery errands and I'm going to make sure all of these storage bins are stocked before I move on. Is that another one? Where did that achievement come from? Art Underground. Ah, have a duplicate with a masterwork skill paint, a masterpiece quality painting. Yes, that one was arranged. And let's have a look what our artwork piece was. Ah, girl with the pearly ring. Perfect, perfect. Food poisoning. Hawkeye contracted food poisoning from eating germ-colored covered water. Have we, you know, curative tablets? We're going to want those curative tablets right now. I want someone to get on top of that. Uh, Doctor Strange, where are you right now? Dr. Bain, paging Dr. Bain. Dr. Bain, you are required at the apo Apothecary Center. Uh, yes, we're going to find you, Mr. Bain, and have you come join us. Where are you? Uh, follow Cam. Where are you doing right now? Compound medicine at the Apothecary. Uh, apothecary. Excellent. You're already on your way. That will be brilliant. Now we can get our medicine sorted, and that means we can stop having sick dupes. How many sick dupes do I have? I think it was getting... One of them has food poisoning. Two, three of them have food poisoning? Okay, who's been messing up on the hygiene? Did I not, you know, I'm going to have to rip out all these sinks and replace them with toilets just to stop that from happening. Though, hmm. Yeah, I probably should remove that there just to give myself a bit of space. Once that's done, we can have the tablets cure someone and, ooh, and we can clock off another uh, achievement. And another one has been unlocked. I'm going to, I guess that's the, they, they got better. Where is it? Excellent, they got better. Cure a sick duplicate of disease. Done, dusted. That's another one bites the dust. Okay, this, they're, they're coming in a lot faster now that we've moved on a bit. Yeah, this has made me realize I should sort out my bathrooms just right now. So we're going to put in our plumbing right here. Plumbing across the... that's the output that goes... Yep, this will be coming out of here. This will feed into the toilet some clean water. The dirty water will come out here and feed into that. And then we will have a liquid tank over here to deal with the overflow. Which will be... 
Yeah, this should be pretty simple. Uh, so you goes into there. Put in a floor tile because this place is still an absolute shambles. Uh, we'll have that go in there and go right across. And you can get dumped straight out onto the polluted water line. Are we... Did we just eat all that polluted water? Yeah, all the polluted water from that system down there has been fed right up in here and into the reed fibre. Wow. That, uh... That was fast. <laughs> That's a, a lot of reed fibre gone. What's the priority set at seven? It's all ripening right now. Okay, then. So, uh, reed fibre done. Uh, we'll do the bathrooms now, and we've cured a couple of people of their uh, bathroom problems, which is nice. No diseases left, everyone cured. Yeah, we'll even get a few extra tablets in the bank just to be safe. How many have we got? Yeah, five more to go. Dr. Bain can take care of that later. Now, I've managed to get this system pretty much set up, but I still have to rip out these toilets in a reasonable time frame without uh, leaving my, my dupes without bathrooms for too long. I don't want any accidents. I, you know what? Considering how bad the place is, accidents are the least of my worries. Mm, I hate when I say things like that. Now I'm worried that something horrible will go wrong. You know what? No. No. We got this. Done this a million times before. Well, dozens. So we'll put one of those there. We'll set you to a nice high priority to make sure you get done. For some reason, the sinks I started building were set up to be made with iron. I have corrected that. I need that iron to make steel, and I don't want to waste it on sinks and toilets. Oh, anyway. Oh, and set those priorities back up to nice and high. I need those repaired quickly, otherwise my duplicates will have no bathroom facilities to use. I've also dumped in about 200 kilos of clean water here to start priming the system up. Oh, and I also forgot I could get some plumbing lines here. Yeah, you can go like that, like that like that and like that and there we go oh that's some of them replaced anyway uh, you can go that direction is that a dead end yes that's definitely a dead end good uh water wise what are we doing okay that should feed back in we should start getting more water though mm. maybe i'll leave that a few minutes before i add another couple of toilets and sinks you know what no no we're gonna do that right now first though more filtration medium this will work out okay. I'm sure they'll get those uh, those built in no times. Oh, wait, yeah, I should probably put in the plumbing. <laughs> There's always something I'm going to forget and I'll look back. I still remember the first time, my first playthrough, I forgot to hook up one toilet for something like 20 or 30 cycles. I just left it there unhooked up. Yeah, that was very awkward. Anyway, um, let's see what we've got left. Oxy ferns. Well, they're great, but no use to us here. Hmm. Eh, I'm liking the look at Ashgan there. I mean... Unconstructive, I'd prefer someone who could do some building right about now. Uh, allergies is not really going to be a big deal, but... Uh, they've, yeah, I think we'll go with Ashgan. Suit wearing, uh, decorating, supplying, diver's lung, and a pacifist. Anyone's got any naming suggestions? Hero, villain, something like that? Good. That's the theme we're going with. Uh, pick one and uh, we'll see if uh, we'll add it in on the next playthrough. Now, you guys, build that all up, and that should be toilets done, and I need to get that, oh, that auto sweeper needs to be prioritized as well. That auto sweeper is in range of the sand, so that hopefully should make sure that that water sieve never stops working, because it would be very bad if that water sieve stopped working for us. Anyway, that's also hooked into the power supply, we'll get rid of that, and we'll get rid of that. It can all go, boom. Now, um, yeah, I think we're good to go, and yeah, that, that jumping joyous seed did get stifled. Good thing I saved that masterpiece for there. And uh, exosuit rise were eight short. Eight more, that's not too bad. I think we should be fine. I might want to get my hands on some more polluted water. If I can get my hands on some more polluted water, then we can finish off with these reed fiber seeds and we can really get some... Uh, ooh, colony achievement earned. What was this one? Come on. Royal Flush, replace all the, uh, ah, replace all the outhouses and wash basins in your colonies, colonies with lavatories and sinks. The big one in here, though, is super sustainable. That's the one that's going to take the most time. Uh, currently, it's at 47. No, yeah, it's exclu excluding the last three digits, it's 47 of 2400 or 240. So, yeah, we're about a fifth of the way there. Yeah. Mm. So a fifth of the way there. And power production-wise, you can see where yeah, average power produced spiked up massively once we got our hands on uh, the electrolyzer. It might be an idea to dump even more water into the electrolyzer. I might want to just start dumping oxygen into space so I can produce more hydrogen. Feels bad, but more hydrogen is better. And in this situation, we're not producing as much oxygen as we could be. I could probably run a third pipe up here. You know, I think that might be the next order of the day. Though getting through the 
Yeah. This so by the way, this um this nature reserve, the bonus from this only lasts half a cycle, it seems. So since it only lasts half a cycle, it's not perfect to depend upon, but it's good enough to help with stress. As long as my dupes get this every day, even if they spend half the day without it, they might get a bit stressed because the morale's a little bit over, but hopefully in the second half of the day they should help counteract it. As well as that, everyone should be on barbecue. Everyone should be loaded up on barbecue to the guild, so yeah, where's food? Good meal plus eight. That's the only food we make right now is barbecue. We have barbecue and meat. That's it. Anyway, um, yeah, and I still haven't stocked up all these containers. I need to stock these up before I move on. Finally, they're all filled up. I can now leave these alone and not worry about my, my hatches starving when I'm not looking. But the next big thing I want to take care of, ooh, I need to put in exosuit docks. But I need to sneakily engineer my exosuit docks so that all of my dupes wear them pretty much all the day. I need that to hit that achievement. And again, uh, uh, job sustainability. All dupes complete an exosuit errand for cycle 0 to 10. To, yeah, so I need all 18 dupes to complete an errand while in an exosuit. And I need them to do that mm, for 10 days in a row. So I want to have them all leave their beds, get into exosuits, and then stay in the exosuits even while they're eating, uh, using the bathroom, everything. Everything else they do. They only have to take them off when they go to sleep. Which is good because 14 of them have hypothermia. I may have been a harsh taskmaster recently. Anyway, let's get started. Uh, the plan here is I'm going to stick in some temporary bedrooms up here, and then we're going to rip out this floor, and we are going to turn these two floors into exosuit docks. It's, mm, it's actually easier to show than to explain. So once they're finished building these, I'll, uh, I'll start putting in the exosuit docks here, and it'll start to come together, the plan. And now it starts to sort of come together. I'm going to have all my duplicates... Uh, effectively, the sleep in the bedrooms here, I'll lock these doors and force them down this side, so that way they have to run past the exosuit docks to get out. Uh, I'll have to do a little bit of rejigging of these bedrooms to make them more susceptible to this design, but uh, it shouldn't be too much of a, a big deal. Uh, this should sort of give you an idea of what's going to happen. I'll lock those two doors so no one can go in and out, and then all my dupes will have to come out of here and pass the exosuit docks to get out of the base. And that will bring them straight onto the corridor. It won't be too long of a, a commute, and it should work out quite nicely. I will also have, I have also made all of these out of lead. Thankfully on my last map I learned that you could use lead for quite a long time before it starts to overheat. I think we'll, we'll last to the 356 mark without having to replace these. And if we do, well, okay we do. Though I will have to hook these up with oxygen. And that is going to start heating up my base, but, well, you live, you gotta live a little bit. So I've started putting in all the extra infrastructure we're going to need, like, uh, oh, power wires, of course, and the ventilation. I've started uh, making sure that I've got all three pipes of this. I'm going to have all three of them going up. I want every single scrap of oxygen I can get. Plus, as I start to fill these, this is going to cause a massive spike in oxygen production. I should also help top up my hydrogen reserves. They're looking a bit low. Uh, I'm going to do the exact same thing the other side, and sort of a mirror image. It, it doesn't hurt having a bit of symmetricality, even if we are trying to be uh, a little bit rushed. Also, those cots all have to move one tile to the right, but later, later. Uh, yeah, let's get this started. To put in the exosuit docks here, I'm going to have to rip out this. Uh, maybe I should have planned this slightly better. Uh, so I'm going to move my dining hall down here, and I'm going to make it exactly big enough for 20 duplicates. We're going to stay on 20 duplicates for quite some time, so well, I might as well plan around that number. I may want to expand later, but not going to worry about it. For the time being, we will plan for just 20 and leave it at that. Uh, oh, same time, we've got our next duplicate choice coming up. I'm liking the look of Devon there. I don't want the allergies. Yokel is not the worst, but it does mean they can't um, learn any of the research skills to skill up later. And uh, I mean, it might be a good short-term choice, but I, I kind of want to go long-term, so we'll go with Devon. Supplying, ranching, farming, mole hands, interior decorator, and biohazardous. Yeah, we need a, we need some sort of hero or villain name for them as well, but we'll get around to that later. And this here is why you leave the top schedule blank. I completely forgot about the top schedule for... Five, five dupes. I hired five dupes without even remembering the schedule, so we need to move these all about. I even have a few day shift dupes that get a bonuses for working during the day. I think there's a night shift dupe or two around here somewhere. Yeah, you can see them there. Beast Boy gets a bonus for working during the nighttime segments over here. Uh, Bahi, one of the new ones, also gets a bonus for working during the nighttime segments. Yeah, so two day shift workers, one night shift worker. Well, I never thought I'd get to really use that mechanic. Anyway, um... Yes, we need to finish up this, get this turned into a great hole as soon as possible. Jumping Joyous Seed, thank you very much. What's the temperature like in here? Yeah, that should be warm enough for the Joyous Seed. Uh, once that's finished, I can rip out this dining hall, though I've turned off the exosuits. I'm still seven exosuits short of the 20, but I stopped making them because I don't want them to uh, 
to take away my uh, reed fiber. When I demolish this painting, I want to get my reed fiber back so I can put another painting over here. Never mind, it turns out I've accumulated some reed fiber anyway. Or these materials will be delivered once the duplicate is available. Once that painting is up, we'll have a, a proper great hole. I can demolish this one. I might even be able to get rid of this. No, no, no. I'm just going to worry about exosuit docks for now and maybe putting in some more ladder segments here so this can fit in neatly. I think I've measured that out just about right. Yeah, that can go about there. Goodbye, old great hole. You served me quite well. But unfortunately, there is more to go. Uh, you. Where are you going to go? Yeah, right about there. I've engineered this correctly. Uh, it should be ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, no. I one second. Yeah, I was off by a little bit. Yeah, I have a tendency to do that. <laughs> okay. Um, how are we doing on this one? Yeah, I think we'll hook those up, and then we can start installing the exosuits. Oh, since that's done, we can uh, churn up some more. What we wanted? Yes, seven more of these suckers. Do I have got enough copper? Uh, 1.6 tons, 3... Yeah, I, I might want to queue up some more t copper. I am just hammering through the copper just maybe a little bit too fast. I used to have 40 tons of this stuff and I've burned through a whole bunch of it just by smashing rocks. I don't want to use the uh, the metal refinery too much because, as you can see, my hydrogen reserves are not exactly stellar. Uh, I'm going to need to put in another electrolyzer as well. I've got so much water. This thing has melted so much of it, though. It's currently... Oh, no, it still emits. This even emits, even if it's submerged. That's... that's handy. Okay, so I'm not losing anything. And I'm getting all that heat. Uh, um, no, no. Focus, focus. Okay, I want to get the atmosphere docks done, ready, up and... Uh, up and ready for this. So, here it starts to take shape. It starts to look, uh, more like it should. Uh, we've got... 10 beds here, 10 beds here, that's 20 duplicates. We've got 20 exosuit docks. Though, of course, in traditional fashion, I completely messed up and I broke this room, which was my natural park. But, a little bit of moving around, and I should be able to get this back up and running and move some doors around. I could move these all one tile back to the right. Of course, that would take an awful lot of effort, and uh, I don't have the time to spare. So once these get filled with oxygen, I can start having my duplicates run... Uh, what was that message? Fleeing? What are you fleeing from? Oh my. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Yeah, you can't do that. Yeah, I need that to stop hurting my dupes. Okay, now I need to get people into a hospital, don't I? Mah! Oh, wow. Ashkan took a clatter. They're down to, like, about three quarters health. The others took a, a little few hits, like Hawkeye, Ada, and Nicola. They all took some minor damage. But yeah, Ashkan's the one who got really hurt. Uh, that's going to be a little bit of a negative, because those light wounds... I think you go once you go beyond ten points of damage, they start getting uh, debuffs to their athletics. So I'm going to want to put together a quick medical bed to get them fixed up. Uh, it's just, I, I don't want them dragging that around for a long period of time. It'll It's just quicker to heal them up now and be done with it. From my last playthrough, I learned you can leave a triage cot outside and it has no problems at all. I scalded many a dupe and just throwing down some triage cots will quickly sort that problem out. Uh, who was it we were going to stick in there, actually? Uh, that's Ashkan assigned to go get themselves uh, healed up. And, ooh, yeah, that was it. I wanted to go with, uh, yeah, the names on all of these. Uh, I was doing a few just random names to keep them going. Uh, for this one, we've got uh, Black Canary. I went with that because Unconstructive, Destructive, a Night Owl, Tiding and Research. I, I don't know, kind of fits. Uh, Nicola, he got to be the Atom because they wear a suit. And uh, Pacifist, Early Bird, Destructive, uh, I don't know. Is it the Atom or Atom? You know what? I don't care. Uh, next up, we got uh, Zeitgeist. Because this one's a vomiter. Uh, pretty much I was running out of steam here at this point. Uh, next up is Starlight, because they're squeamish and a twinkle toes. So, you know, that, yeah, like I said, run and had it. <laughs> run out of days. And then we've got the Deep, namely because they've just got diver's lungs, and why not? And for the last one here, we have Deadpool. For no other reason than, uh, yeah, I just wanted to put Deadpool in there somewhere. It, it wasn't anything to do with their traits, it's just uh, I wanted Deadpool in there. Anyway, uh, if you come up with better names for their traits, let me know. Uh, I'll, I'll update the names maybe on the next playthrough or the, the next episode. So with all of this done, I think we'll cut this episode out here. I've definitely got more than 30 minutes of footage at this point. I'm going to have about 10 duplicates running on suits first, and I won't get the others in straight away, though. The reason being they don't have quite the skills yet. Most of them don't have exosuit training or the last few hires. Yes, yeah, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we got seven that won't have exosuit ability for a while. Uh, eight, actually. I'm going to hire my next duplicate. The next uh, 
you know, next to the printing pod activates, we'll be hiring an eighth duplicate. So we'll have eight that won't be able to run. So I think I'll just fill these 10 bedrooms up with the dupes I want to have exosuits, who have exosuit training, and then use them to start on space. These ones can stay over here, and I can even split them in half and have four of them ready to go earlier. Yeah, I think I think we'll cut this out here. It's a good, good, good. We got a good amount done and a good amount of achievements earned. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed and uh, good luck.